So we begin this, um, this really this pathway of opening to vulnerability by having that as our intention, that it's conscious. That the next time you're with somebody that matters to you, there's something in you that goes, oh yeah, this might, in- to be real, this might involve a little bit of rawness, a little bit of discomfort, embarrassment, whatever, vulnerability. And one of the ways of thinking of the pathway is, um, many of you might remember the story of the Buddha after his enlightenment, he went through the next 50 years teaching about the path of compassion and wisdom, and still the shadow side would keep appearing. Um, All the feelings of vulnerability, of fear, of hurt, of anger, all the intense passions would come up. And so when Mara, that was the god of all the shadow side, would appear, often the Buddha would be teaching, there would be a big field of people, and Mara would be lurking around the edges. And as the story goes, Ananda, who was the Buddha's loyal attendant and, and beloved friend too, follower, would see Mara and go, oh no, this is bad news, bad, 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 Mara's here. And he'd tell the Buddha and the Buddha would say, oh no, 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 it's okay. And he'd go over to Mara and say, I see you, Mara, let's have tea. I see you, Mara, let's have tea. And so it is when we start encountering vulnerability. If instead of that reflex to control, to go off into our thoughts, to plan, to strategize. There's some part of us that goes, okay, I see this, this is the vulnerability. Can I have tea with it? You know, can I be with it? Um, we will be opening the door in a radical way to deepening our capacity for love and for presence. <laughs>